Scorpio, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I am so excited to be reading for this for you because it always feels like coming home. Um, Scorpios, thank you for your support of the channel. Um, this is an oracle and tarot card reading. The tarot card reading is in the extended. What it does is it broadens, expands, personalizes, and gets into specifics of the energies that we pull up in this oracle card reading. So if you are interested, please come and join me for the extended, and that link is below. This reading is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So this is for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart or affects, impacts your life. I don't put dates on these anymore because especially Scorpios are still commenting on videos I made back in August. So I took off the dates, but I do upload a new Scorpio video every single week. So if you want these videos fresh off the press, please subscribe to my channel. You'll help the channel grow and you'll be able to ring that bell and get the uploads as soon as they go live. Plus you'll get notified when I go live. This is for Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Scorpio. Scorpio. What are Scorpios dealing with? Scorpios. Okay, guys. Okay. okay. Scorpio. 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 One silent card fell out like a leaf. Open to infinite possibilities. Scorpio, it looks like it's your time to shine. Now that could be shining in a mess. This could be shining in prevailing and demonstrating the courage and the fortitude as well as the insight on how to deal with things that terrorize most people. Because this is a terrorizing, this is a terrifying time for most people. There's fear all over the place because looking death in the eye is something that terrifies most everybody. It's something that we have grown very, very distant from, you know, far from the days when we used to um, view our dead and hold our wakes in our living rooms. Far from those days, we now don't even show up to the wakes of close loved ones because we don't want to deal with or look at what it looks like for life to be over. Now, that's not what I'm saying to you. I'm saying that, oh, that's gonna happen to you. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is you are constantly in tune and unafraid of those things that others describe as macabre, um, terrifying, um, seedy, and um, dangerous. Dangerous, if not devilry. You look those things in the eye all the time. You understand them. And the reason why, we had this conversation before, Scorpio. The reason why, we, the reason why you can do that is because you own your demons. You eat breakfast with them. You don't sever them from the rest of you like other, other people do. You embrace them, and so they embrace you, and you always are aware of where they are. Which means, Scorpio, yes, sometimes, whatever, stereotypically, you can get overindulgent in the dark side. But when it comes to darkness, there is a sense of maybe urgency, yes, a sense of severity, but there's always a sense of knowing what to do and what the right move to make is. And so here you are, shining bright like a diamond, standing out and seeing the world filled with infinite possibilities. Why? Because of the lack of intimidation compared to most people around you. I have been predicting for quite some time, Scorpio, that you were going to start to rule, that you were going to emerge in the next year or so as a leader of sorts. And I believe that that time is now. I believe that that time is, if not now, fast approaching. So this is, and it's not even something that you're asking for. It's not even something that you need. It's just something that is, whether, like it or not, here it comes. This is <clears throat> seeing the world for all its possibilities, even when you see its worst sides. This is seeing the situation for um, all that it can be instead of all that it is. Knowing that you were born to create reality, not to just accept it. Okay. Let's 
go into this reading. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This could be Aquarius energy. What is Aquarius energy? Thinking of other people, taking care of other people, being able to go in as a doctor or a nurse or a volunteer and not be afraid. Cross over borders that other people are afraid of and say, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm in the thick of it. I can do this. I, I can be here. You know, it's interesting how... Uh, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. How you really see the true metal that somebody is made of when um, when things get really bad. This has got to be an emotional time for you. A time when you are very worried and concerned about those people who are closest to you. A time when you wish that you could heal so many different people. Here we have set set healthy boundaries. Um, now this is upturned, upside down, which means that maybe the boundaries that you're setting, in other words, the boundaries are too light. You've taken them all down. This is this is the channel messages that I get from this card. You've taken all your boundaries down. You're done with boundaries. The boundary between the world of the dead and the world of the living has collapsed now anyway. And so you've taken all your boundaries down and you are speaking to both sides. Um, you could very well be getting messages or a lot of dreams. Dreams would probably be a way that your psyche is dealing with things right now. I would say listen to them because the barrier is down and the, like the, ve the veil has, has fallen. And so, um, um, you will, you yourself or spirit guides or your ancestors will try to contact you and communicate with you through your psyche and through your dreams hear them, listen to them, and share the wisdom. Um, what did I say? The veil is down. The mask is down. The mask has come off. Somebody has taken down all of their boundaries. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I don't know if you are. Or you could just be dealing with somebody who is colder and more reserved and keeps their distance. So we have this broad reading of taking care of the world and leading the world and being able to shine when others can't. And when we have a more personalized reading, which is if you're dealing with somebody who is colder and more distant, somebody who seems far away yet admirable, somebody who's enticing, but they keep it like a star, like a celebrity. Think of that energy. It's very Aquarian. Like if there's a, there's a wall, there's a distance between the two of you. This wall is coming down and the mask, the pretend, the game of pretend is over with. It's fallen. It's forget about it. Whether this is you or them, this is all tumbling down. The mask the boundaries they're coming to a halt and I have to say it may have something to do with what's going on right now it's like why does it matter what what do the games matter the games don't fucking matter now they don't matter to us they don't matter to the world they don't matter they're just getting in our way we need to tear these goddamn boundaries down and we need to just show and feel and act and say out loud because if we've never seen it before and nobody ever believed in me before the whole world should finally catch up with me and realize all these pretenses don't fucking matter. They don't matter. They're ridiculous and they don't matter. Um, here we have the otter spirit. You are never alone. And I know that that is your central energy. So I'm just going to put that right there. This is about love. This is about connectivity. This is about connection. And for come hell or high water, you're going to show love and you're going to show connection and you're going to show affection. It doesn't even matter. If you're a nurse or a doctor and there are people on ventilators, you're going to hold their hand. If uh, people are scared and worried and they're wearing face masks, you're going to reach out and give them a smile, you know, pull down your mask and just smile or reach out your hand to them. Even if you have to sanitize it afterward, there is a sense of you being able to cross over these boundaries, not in a stupid way, not in an irresponsible way, um, but in a way of we're still human and that has to matter more than anything. Um, then of course, this is of course a very much more personal, you could be dealing with a personal trauma or a personal experience of, I don't care what danger or suffering or experience I'm even coming close to. If somebody I love is threatened or in danger, I'm going to stand right by them and I'm never going to leave their side. That's just not going to be, I'm going to be with them no matter where they go, no matter where they head, no matter where they go, I'm going to be there. And I'm, I, I, I have no fear. Um, oh, um, Groundhog spirit, time to let go. So this is an energy of, <clears throat> excuse me. 
This is an energy of releasing and relinquishing anything that was needling on your heart, hurting your heart or scratching at your heart, ripping you up and tearing you up inside. So this is an idea, a, a sense of the melt, the ice is melting because this is your energy. This is a scorpionic energy because a groundhog rules the underground and understands the psyche and the tunnels and things that could be hidden. So this is no more hiding the hiding. I'm coming out of hiding. I'm, I'm this hurt and this pain and this suffering is something that's just going to come out. And maybe people think that I'm too much and maybe think people think that I'm insufferable, but all the ice is melting and the flood is because I don't care about the boundaries anymore. I don't care about the worry or being worried about what you think of me or being worried about being vulnerable. What I care about is that you know, that you know that I care, that you know that I love, that you know that I want, that you know that I feel because that's what marks who I am, what I want, what I feel, what I feel is who I am. So I'm going to express it and I'm going to show it. It doesn't matter if there's worry or fear. Anything that I've held on to is about to emerge. And then we have bring a gentle touch. So this is all about love and this is all about healing. It's all about, it's, it's yes, it's going to help you heal yourself. Uh-huh. But it's also about healing them. And I think it's more so about healing them and showing love and expressing love and showing kindness and giving love. Whether people, it's not, you're not even, you're not even taking the checklist anymore. Did they deserve it? Did they earn it? No, it's just they need it they need it and it has to be demonstrated and it has to be shown and that's that very Aquarian energy of putting the humanitarianism first putting the human need first as opposed to putting the self first it's putting the the collective first the group the community first so this could very well be um, of course giving to the your community like I said stepping up and doing all that you need to do to help people bringing love into a situation a smile into a situation in, in even if it's a shitty situation but ultimately this also could be um, um, loving somebody and not wanting to let them go not wanting not wanting to let their hand go um, giving them comfort and being maybe their rock and their strength but or but bottom line, it could be expressing and showing love for somebody that you had held it back from, or maybe, you know, they're finally, their mask is finally coming off to you because you realize it just doesn't, this is stupid. Life is too short. Life is too precious. What the f are we doing? Holding our feelings in. We need to just let them show and let them, because it's like, it's like, look at the dead are walking anyway. What, what, what are, what is, what is the point of keeping up the boundaries. There are no boundaries. Boundaries are dead, boundaries are gone. They've come down. Pluto and Saturn are chilling with each other. They've been chilling with each other since the beginning of the year. The, the boundaries have come down. I did not expect this to be as emotional as this as this reading is coming out to be. There's a lot inside of you guys. There's a lot of there's a lot of suffering, maybe suffering on behalf of others, suffering by proxy. Um, trust the great mystery. Just diving in and look. Six plus five is the energy of eleven. So awakening to the full breadth of connection with other people, diving in and not thinking about yourself or not a care in the world, feeling very, very safe in the depths, very safe underwater holding your breath. You don't have to hold your breath because you can live underwater for as long as you want. This is literally melting into the circumstance and the situation and just trusting in this great mystery. Do you see? Now you rule the house of mysteries. Well, no, that's more Pisces. Um, you uh, m uh, rule the house of regeneration. So that's a, but that's a great mystery too. It is a house of endings and a psychic house, a, a house of the psyche. So you're just diving right in and saying, well, this is my realm. This is where I live and this is where I walk. And uh, with no fear, with no fear and total connection. And this really is diving in and connecting because the waters connect us all. So you are just diving right into connection. Bigger reading than I thought. It, it, see, like it took time for the cards to come out, 
but you got more and more comfortable. It got more and more comfortable with just being emotional and knowing that you could be. And now it's all coming. It's all being laid bare. Let spirit be your guide. So this is a leap of faith. This is also seeing things from a perspective that is higher or above. Okay, this is more Aquarian or air energy, which is you are seeing the bigger picture, which is why you're letting your guard down and you're melting. Because you get that the bigger picture is, is, worth, is worth more than whatever you're hiding or whatever you think needs to be hidden or whatever is scaring you or worrying you. The bigger picture is more important. This is a change in perspective and that perspective now cares about the whole instead of just the minute fear. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now is a lucky time. So this is an opportunity to amplify or multiply your abundance. The energy of nine plus four is 13, adds up to four. It's grounding you. It, you know what's grounding you, making you feel really good, really, really working for you right now is just multiplying and being abundant and being extra and being too much. It's just working so well for you. Why? Because people need resources now. People need care, people need concern, and people need to see the abundance that you can provide. Uh, believe in yourself. You absolutely do and you're absolutely certain and you're taking care of and you're healing in terms of this is Virgo energy. So this is health, uh, planting the seeds for health, sharing and caring and providing resources for the future. As in, listen, I'm going to, I, I'm going to party like it's 1999. I'm going to party like, yes, we do have a future. If this is the end of the world, then it's going to, we're going to go, we're going to go out together, but I'm planning and planting those seeds for the future. I'm showing and demonstrating that there is enough there is enough to plan and to move forward and there will be a tomorrow let it shine this is your energy um four uh four plus six equals ten maturity and completion fulfillment being ready being prepared being com like being yeah being complete being uh ready being ready uh using your voice to speak out and to share your specialness with the world transcendence showing uh your uh how you rise from the flames how we rise how we get up how we uh have no fear um in the face of fear itself this is you expressing and showing and demonstrating and putting a spotlight on something that is balance and peace and love. So this is two plus one equals three, holy trinity, divinity, um, everything coming into full and complete uh, unity and balance. This is love. This is Libra energy of partnership. Watch for the full moon tomorrow night. This is gonna be huge. Please watch, I'll attach the full moon uh, video for you guys above. Um, it is, uh, it's a necessary one for you to watch. Uh, check out your romantic tarot too. This is an energy of demonstrating and showing and giving love, being the peace bringer. So this is definitely you coming into a circumstance or situation and saying, I don't care about what happened yesterday. I don't care about what happened a year ago or I care too much and you're going to know all about it. Either way, I'm not holding this in anymore because holding it in is what's making it unbalanced. And you get that. You get that holding it in and holding things back is what's making them unbalanced. And God, we're going to talk about it. We're going to share. We're going to show. And it's just going to be on the table. Let's get into your grounding energy. Mm. Transformation, once again, enlightenment. You're moving to a higher level. You're spreading your wings and flying. And what's most, most important about this card in this, in this position is you're becoming your true self. You're showing and demonstrating that beautiful spread of this is my, this is how I rise. This is my phoenix. These are my feathers. I'm not this tattered, worn out, zombie-like bird. I'm this beautiful, gorgeous thing. And you're just, um, reaching your that full maximum potential and then we have sweet results await working very very hard whatever you are whatever you're putting your heart and soul into and taking these big leaps of faith for scorpio it's going to work in a great deal of abundance and I, or you already have a great deal of abundance you have a great deal of resources that you can care for and help and distribute and heal honey is very healing um uh, ironically it is good for allergies and respiratory infections because of the pollen and it helps you build 
build up antibodies to pollen. So this is this is like a part, in other words, you're part of the healing here. You have worked very, very hard to earn your honey, to earn the strength that you can now share and distribute. You have worked very hard and you are part of the solution. And be fear, I just heard this, I, I, I wonder what the zodiac signs will be for the people who are discovering this vaccine. Be interesting to see if they're Scorpio, but I'm just saying, just be interesting. Uh, Badger spirit, be fearless and be bold. This is Aries energy, but I think it speaks for itself. You're fearlessly, unadulteratedly, and completely being everything that you are, wide open and out loud. And it is medicine for people. It is healing for people. It is what the doctor did not prescribe because the doctor wasn't wise enough to know everybody needed a little bit of scorpionic wisdom, energy, and courage to share and deluge and just um, unfold all those deepest, darkest parts of them because, it, it, you know, all the demons are loose now anyway. This is how you dance with them. Let me turn the camera around so we can review the energy. You can see, I didn't even do this on purpose. I just unfold the cards as they come to me. It looks like a crown, right? This is a crown spread. This is uh, owning your full, complete, and total destiny and self, being crowned. And what the crown is, sits right on top of the most prominent card representing you. So it is a strong sense. But listen, it's not a strong sense of purpose as in give me the crown. It's a strong sense of I am the crown. I own the crown. I, I belong the crown. I define the crown. It's a redefinition of what it is to lead. You're leading from the heart. You're leading from the psyche. You're leading from the soul. You're bringing peace and prosperity and abundance to people. There is a level of courage here that people were afraid of, but they realize now that they need you. They need your lack of fear when people are faced with fear itself. I'm going to go into the extended. I want to delve into whatever details are provided for us. And of course, we're going to do the full um, romance reading as well. I love you guys. I'll see you in the extended.